Good day everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a Dell laptop here to fix Dell Latitude 7420 7420 Dell Latitude 7420 Core i7 So this laptop, the Customer that brought it in said the laptop it has no power or kind of it's not displaying like the way he explained it. When you switch on the power button, the power button switch the laptop switches on, but there is no display on the you see it's on now. See the power button is on, but there's nothing on the screen. Okay. okay let's switch it off what of if let's try to connect the the charger okay let's try to connect the charger there's the charger type c using the type c let's try to connect the charger there you go charger connected check on the power supply check here Look on the power supply. It's taking current. That means there's a shot on the board. There's a shot on the board. Okay, let's see together what could be the problem. So we can fix it together. Let's see what could be the problem. Some part of the laptop is already open. The screws. I can hear something like as if something is burning on the laptop. It looks as if something is burning. You see, something is getting hot over here. Okay, no, it's fine. Let's open the board. Let's take out the the heat sink let's take out the heat sink by the way thanks to everyone that have subscribed to my channel uh, if you are watching this video now you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe for more repair videos like this okay, okay let's take out the heat sink okay now I think the the screen connector, let's take it out. Okay. Nice portable laptop. Eh? Looks so portable. Okay, I think the fan needs to go out. Okay. The professor, why is it so dry? Okay. There we go. Something was getting hot over here. Something was getting hot over here. Okay. I think uh, it should be on the other side of the board. Let's disconnect the battery. Okay. Battery disconnected. Okay, speaker. I think on the other side of the board. The resistance of the shot on this board is very close. As you can see on the on the power supply Yeah. Let's 
let's take out that part. So that we can check what is on the other side. Okay. The board is out. Here is the board. Okay. So here is the board. Here is the board. I'm just checking. I'm just doing physical inspection. If there's any damage component on the board. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can't see anything. Okay, I need to take this one aside. I'm gonna take this thing out. I'm gonna take the the charger connector. That and put the. Okay, so that we can put this one. Aside, okay, okay, there we go. Here's the part, so let's connect this one first. We will be able to know what is getting hot over there. Okay, I will come with uh, maybe two votes. Let's make it one. Let's make it one vote because Just trying to feel a part. That is getting hot. I don't wanna come with too much current. I don't wanna come with too much current. You know, I think let's let's make it two votes. Let's make it two votes. Okay, there's some warm sensation here. There's warm sensation over here. I don't know if it's this icy. Okay, and I make it four M. Sorry, four votes. Okay, let's see. Let's see.
let's read together quickly. A negative proto grande. Okay, that's the BP. Multimeter. I'm just checking those capacitors there. Those capacitors. Okay. There's one capacitor here at the middle here. Okay, let's take it out. Okay. The capacitor that one and go out. Where's my other tweezer? The small caps. Huh? Okay, there you go. Small one. Yes, the other ones they are intact. Ne? Okay. Okay, let us wait for the board to cool down now. Less on the fan, so for the board to cool down. In the meantime, let me check that capacitor. Let's wait for the board to cool down so that we can test it to see if there's still short there on the board. Is the caps let's see okay, that this caps looks fine eh? it look fine the caps okay the caps is fine that means we still have a shot on the board let's see okay there
Supervise them. Want to feed them? Let's see. You know, let's wait a little bit for the port to cool down so that we can test together if the shot is still there. Okay, let's see together. We have a shot there. You see this IC. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just put something there. Like this IC. And if you can see that, just watch, watch, see? That chip is gone. That chip is gone. But not to be too sure, there are some, uh, uh, capacitor which is connected to the back of it see this capacitor let's see if one of those capacitor is bad we might have a short on that chip you see and you see that all of them is short to grand so the only thing we can do now, I'm sure it's that cheap, not this. The cheap itself, the cheap itself, not the, that's, the cheap itself. Means it will be easy with this what is designer eh? totally different the way it design is totally different you see Eight five nine nine. Eight five or five five. No, just I want to see the IC. Six five. Nine nine. Yes, let's see that chip again. Six five nine nine. Let's run application. I think uh, on eBay four hundred and something. Okay. Okay. 
to the thing is this to get a replacement of this IC it won't be easy to get a replacement to get the replacement of this IC so the 19 volts is not coming in on the board remember when we power it on the laptop is switching on laptop does switch on but there is no display the 19 volts is not passing through it's only using the power from the, the battery and still yet there is no display still yet there is no display I don't think uh, this. I don't think this. Uh, what's it called? The capacitor which is here. Yeah, at the cost because what I suspected is the. What I suspected. The IC is the problem. But now, what I'm gonna do, because to get this IC, we need to order it. And you can't even get a donut board to take it from. You have to order it. So, in this case, what I would do, I just wanna take out this C capacitor. And I'll see if the shot is still there. I'll see if the shot is still there. If I take out the, those C capacitor. Because. I've got no other option now than to order the IC, than to order the chip if I want this laptop to be fixed. If ever this is, doesn't solve our problem, that means we need to order that chipset. Okay, taking out the, the six capacitors, taking out the six capacitor. Okay, let's see. You see that? It's still short. The IC itself is the problem. Okay, what I'm gonna do? Know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out that IC. I'm going to take it out. Going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. But before then, I will replace. I'll take back those uh, capacitor which I took out. I'll take them back. There are six of them. I need to take them back because that's not a problem.
I don't know what I'm doing here really. see my tweezer is very short and it's not the pin the point is not so nice You see now? The tweezer is so short, it's bending my hand. I can't believe this that I'm changing a capacitor for how many minutes I don't believe this yeah okay let's take out the IC there that chip Okay. The chip is out. The chip is out. Let's just clean it a little bit.
Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test to see taking that chip. Since I've taken out that chip, let I wanna see if the shot is still there. Let's first of all check with our multimeter. Okay. Negative pro to gram. The, the shot is gone but the chip is not there I've taken it out you see I've taken it out but the shot is gone I wanna test this footage to see what will be the outcome at least two, uh, two votes And it's not taking any anything. It's not taking any current. So this chipset, I don't even know if it's a power. It is on the nineteen. Okay, since I've taken out that chip, I want to test with the battery. It's, it seems like the, the laptop was having some little current on the battery. So now let's see if we have a display or something. Okay. Let's connect the battery. Okay, now let's connect the screen first. What to put the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, screen connected. Okay, I've connected there. Battery now. Let's see. Yeah, I'll switch on the laptop now. Oh, I see. No. Processor is getting hot. We need to put the. What's it called? The the heat sink. Remember these new laptops. The new process. This new laptop. The processor can be easily burnt. Eh? They can easily get burnt. Let's take it out. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to connect the the heat sink. Then we test with the with the battery. So we test with the battery. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, then it sync. Let's try to let's try to power is on now. Let's see if perhaps we have a display. But the the IC is not there. Maybe if we have a display, you never know. Okay, just a moment. You see, we've got a display now using the battery. So my worry now is that IC. What if, if it's the power IC? If it's a power IC, so the laptop is not going to charge. If it is a power IC, it won't charge. Okay, but let's sit together. Let's sit together. Let's see together, maybe. Let's see together. If it's the uh, okay. Yeah. You see that charger connected and it's not charging. So that IC need to be replaced. That IC need to be replaced, and uh, I think uh, you can get it on uh, eBay or AliExpress. On eBay or AliExpress, I think uh, on eBay you can get it on eBay or AliExpress. You see, four hundred and sixty-eight rand. That is in South Africa currency. Hmm? Okay. No, I think uh, I think uh, I will stop this video now. By replacing that IC, this laptop will be working. Okay? I'll stop this video now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. I'll see you on the next video. Okay? Bye-bye.